Hello everyone. The title of today's talk is "Finding Your Greatest Command." So, Mr. Within, we're talking about that moment where a human being looks around and begins to see that it's as if we are such a little thing in a world so big, and you wonder what purpose means. You wonder what the meaning of meaning means. And so, as we stand. In our awe and wonder of what we are here to do, mankind is driven by greater intentions, by greater commands. You are not here just to be a certain range, an aspect of your moment. You are here to be a moment of experience that no one has ever seen before. And so, where does the command begin? Of initiating the greatest steps known to man. How you find your greatest command is by seeing in the command of what greatness you are basking in. It is not something you're looking for behind the door or behind the clouds. It is you that you are looking for. You are seeking a command that is coming from within. You are seeking an aspect of your being that is untouched, that is here. And so, if a tree has found self-awareness to look at its different branches of knowledge, it is now time to seek that which is the hidden roots, to make the hidden unhidden. And so, you shall see the dreamer. Never needed to dream. Step out of the reality that is suggesting a world you're not capably working in. For the flicker of candlelight might look at its wax and wonder why it's here, but you will see that flame too. Look at the sun. And never have a doubt of its presence. The human phenomena is one where it's as if we have this objective experience, where we are this physicality, and let us say this is the body of the candle, and we are the sense of consciousness, this illumination of awareness around us that <clears throat> needs no symbols as barriers. When it is direct experience, which is the candle light having an association that it can be a candle light, you know, just it's the candle's light, which is, in a sense, the concept of uh, uh, the movement of consciousness. But then you begin to see, once that individual flame finds that it has been basking in sunlight, this candle is outdoor. You will see there are no doors outside. But everything within this world is self-reflective. It is a value that is coming from how you are valuing yourself. It is coming from how you are referring to things, comparing things, and all this comparison are just like waves and currents within a grand ocean of intelligence, which we are playfully between the whale walking between this thin rope, walking on this thin rope between the known and the unknown. Where is the mystic? Where is the man that questioned mankind to see where it was heading? For intention must come with an ability to see that your effort can take you there. Your single steps are the ending of the journey. For a new one shall begin with the next step. To find your greatest command is not a sense of idea of finding anything. It is you becoming aware that you are alive, and this sense of life has been immediately interpreted by you, but by a sense of you conditioned with a name and a certain way of being treated. Society is not that creative because it puts you in a certain range of acknowledgement. But the cosmos, the world, your solitude, the silence and stillness of being, will show you the limitlessness of the sky once the clouds fade. Clouds of confusion come by. That is why the pilot of consciousness navigates. For the command of your intention of living here 
is not one that is being based on a rationality that is trying to find the most fittest path to survival. You are here to become aware of the nature of intelligence. You are here to see what experience is present or how experience is present within your moment. Of breathing in the here and now. It's a state of consciousness where your sense of contemplation, deep self-contemplation in nature and in the nature of your being will, will shift the value of how your limitations came to be placed. What that means is I've noticed how fear is really confronted is that the reality of the being moves into an understanding that it is more capable than the incapability of its own demise. You, you, in a sense, are present in a reality where a lot of things are happening and you are part of this happening. But you've only been thinking that you are an objective part, but you have not seen how you were never just an objective being because objectivity was being done in a self-awareness which was, which was a moment uh, of experience that seemed to have a sense of uh, presence through an empty uh, uh, how would I say, an empty case. What that means is some mystics have traveled far and they have gone to realms before language could even be born. And you begin to see that mankind just shifted. We had the ability to handle ourselves as everything. Our survival was that there, we were not separate for our world. We are simply a natural expression and we must be aware of that which we have cultivated. For there are great intentions here and existential intentions. Intentions you will understand not thinking as an individual human being, but thinking as humanity, thinking as humankind, developing greater ideas of how man has already taken greater steps and we simply need to find these routes. The treasure revealers of the new renaissances that will change the face of this world need to occur. What that means is when there is too many problems in the past, you don't go based on a lack of information trying to solve those. You go and you look at the sky and you work with all the information that has come to make you into a sense of form. You are observing formlessly and discovering the hands of the Creator within your most directest experience. And man can experience himself beyond man. Mr. Within will clarify this. And the only reason he can, because he is beyond. The space and time that have shaped man's face too solidly. In your trust in life and your allowance to find the, your most sincerest and natural expression, the person who's trying to search or find something dissolves and the freedom is found in an ability to see a free being within yourself, a being that is here. What that means is instead of thinking what you have to do if you think why should i move you begin to see because the space is granted your greatest command is your most existentially compassionate, self-aware and integrative approach into being life as life. As you are, as you do not want things from this world and just remain silent for a while, you begin to see the world will request action from you. What that means is we need, we are not studying the human being properly. Educational systems are not uh, creating uh, bridges. They're actually creating islands of ignorance.
we must integrate our mind. We must realize that all students have an ability to observe reality and as they do, their, their intelligence is coming from that. What that means is a test paper is only the handling of a certain range of reality. But many beings are able in different forms of reality. What that means is if Beethoven was never allowed to play the piano, because the piano, let's say, was wrong or something, they would never see the genius that would come out of him. Do you know? <laughs> In your most profoundest and vastest existential allowance, you shall look at your world and you shall see yourself looking back. Man has become one. Not through victory, but through one side, one army in this war, dropping down its weapons and dissolving into the absolute nature of reality. War keeps mental projections of games in man's mind. The concept of war is an agitation chained to very separative, suggested senses of being that have to act. We must become aware that we want to make the human experience graceful. It is transitioning in a point where the human being has to be aware of its mind. What that means is if we are looking at technology enhancing, expanding so quickly, man also needs to expand not by trying to become a me learn me uh, mechanics even though we need great engineers, but by developing his mind and its relationship to how he, it, the being is considering your body and then relate, comparing the relationship of the mind and body to the experience of the moment and to see if clarity really needed happiness. Or there ever was a cruel man in this world. Because there will come moments where you will no longer see the criminal as cruel. The consciousness of the being will be elevated that once you see the peak amount of suffering you've gone into, you're like, everyone else can have that. Everyone is able to have the same amount of experience. So there needs to be tolerance, passion, uh, compassion, patience. Because no one's figured it out when we're all together figuring it out. Do you see? And once you stop chasing the butterfly of what you think your life has to be and you sit down and be still and silent, as suggested before, you will begin to see that in your grace of being alive simply, The butterflies of complexity will come and land on your forehead. You will begin seeing that by stopping something that was constantly maintaining the projection, by turning the projection off for a second, by closing your eyes by a nature uh, trail, in, uh, by a stream or somewhere, you know. The beauty of man was found in the heart that in an instant could give that beauty to the world. As you are ready and realize that your work is your own and the word own also spells now. shall see your work come and work with you. You shall see your work work with you. You will see the intelligence of your world embrace you in an existential reunion that suggests that this formless observance of being knew even though it didn't. And as we smile to the quote 
Vedic seers said long time ago to be in the world but not of it. The transparency of thought is clarity for within emptiness there never was any confusion. There was complete space, complete existential allowance. For an empty page is truly a gift for a writer that never writes for himself. But for all that that self could suggest, greatest command. Guided by the winds of finer understanding. Step into your hole as you step out of every hole. Advanced communicators, the pilots of consciousness. We'll begin to realize reality holds a significance based on your engagement and your engagement with how reality is here. As man, very playfully, has waited for dawn to come, man will begin to see that he is that dawn, that your salvation is how within you, in, within the origin of all that you are, you gave yourself the allowance, the command to envision your greatest sense of being and its most compassionate view and duty to this world. For once a free, for once a free being makes a choice. After that, the choiceless has always known. Administered by the cosmos, you are tr truly grand. As devotion leads to a dissolution into a self-awareness of your own greater clarity. Trust the flows of life. And learn from the actions that emanate from your presence. For you, my beloved being, are your greatest command. That is why you are found. Much blessings and honesty.